the power, and after that we decrease the power by one. Right on plus. Okay, good. Now then we look at the homework that I've given you. I have done all the way until question 8 for you, right? Yesterday in class, am I right to say that? Then I gave you 9, 10, and 11. See? 9, 10, and 11. Now I will read the question, alright? Question 9. Are you okay with that? It's good. 10. Let's wait for that. 10. No problem. 11. 11. Also no problem. Huh? Only one. Huh? So all of them are okay, am I right? Yes or no? Just be 20 and then you can get the answer. Is it alright? Yes or no class? Okay? Alright, good. Now, those people who have problem with those questions, uh, yes. you go and do corrections and stuff. Is that clear? After, after I return to you. Is that okay? Alright. At the back, pass it to the front. Change, 
up, for our y which is respect to time, then I will have a dy dx times a dx dt. Now, can you see that if I write like that, which one goes off? dx goes off, right? So I'll get dy dt. This is called chain rule, whereby you differentiate with respect to something, then another something you combine, you get this. Now, it behaves like fraction, but it is not fraction. Is that clear? This is what I want to stress to you. Because some tuition teachers don't treat it as fraction and you flip it, so it's not true. It's not true, it's total different thing. Now, what's the meaning of this? Is it the same? No, what does this mean? You differentiate t with respect to what? x. It's a different thing altogether. You don't just flip the situation, it's not a fraction. Everybody clear? So I just want to bear this in mind, okay? But I'm going to use this more in the rate of change. But just know that this is called chain rule. That this is a chain of things, and then I will get the answer. Is that clear? Okay, now I will show you what chain rule looks like in real life. Remember, I told you it's like the onion rule, like that. Okay, but look at example six. If you cannot get this one right, don't worry. Rate of change, I will come to it again. Do you understand? Now, can you look at example 6? Differentiate this with respect to x. Okay? Now, some people say die la. I don't know what to differentiate. But I use binomial theorem and expand until 15. Then I differentiate one by one. By the time you finish it, exam is over. Do you understand? I'll teach you a way. Alright? Now, all of you look up. Chain rule is like that. I say P, other P from outside, right? Okay. Dy, dx. Now you treat this whole thing. You bring it down 15, correct? Then it's the same thing. You decrease one, right? You use the same rule. Decrease one is what? 14. 14. Very good. This is layer one. Then after you differentiate the whole thing, right? You differentiate the inside. How to differentiate the inside? Become 2x, right? Then 1 when the differentiate is 0, right? So this one will become 30x, x squared plus 1, 14. Finish. You understand what I'm talking about? Chain rule is you differentiate the outside, then after that you go inside and differentiate. You, in, you differentiate inwards, like that. Just like you put on here. Everybody, okay? Now, what's a common mistake when they do exam? Huh? After they differentiate this one, right, they forget that they must differentiate inside. That's the most common mistake. Everybody clear? Yes or no? Yes, huh? Okay, good. Now, if you look at page 13, you will see u to the power n, so on and so forth. Now, I, I find that this one is very confusing. I do not use this one at all because it confuses students. The notation itself is confusing. Actually, what they are saying is that they treat this whole thing as u. You understand? Okay. What they mean is this. Okay, all of you know. If I treat the whole thing as u, it's easier, right? Everybody okay? But I don't want you to let you, I don't want you will confuse yourself. You understand? So what they do is that they do divide the u. So it's 15 u, 14, right? Correct, right? Now, then what is u? U is x squared plus 1, correct? U is the inside, correct? What is e u dx? That means I differentiate u respect to x. This is x, right? Okay, class, I'm showing you the chain rule. I repeat, huh? I let y, I let this guy be u. So it's u15, am I right? So dy du is 15 u15, u14, correct? Okay, then I have du dx is 2x, right? So actually, dy dx is dy du times du dx. So it's 15 u squared times 2x, right? Not u squared, what am I talking about? u what? 14, my goodness. Correct? But my u is what? x squared plus 1. That's why it's like that. You get what I'm saying here? That's why it's like that. Can you see what I'm talking about? I take this times this, so I times, I get exactly the same as this. I do not use the page 13 way because it's very confusing. You have u la, y la, x la, they become confused. Can I just do from outside in? That's it. 
it's faster and you are clearer. Everybody okay? So this is called the chain rule. Okay, let's look at example 7 now. So let's look at example 7. Okay, now I'm going to go slowly here because you need all these up when they replace the function by trigonometry. Yeah. We will learn how to differentiate sine cosine tangent. But you must get the algebra done first before we can bond with that. Do you understand? Okay. Now, let's take a look. Okay, we do it slowly down. Because I know you are frightened by all these things. But as we get the hang of it, you will realize that this is actually very mechanical. You know what's called mechanical? Just do the da 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 It's there. Okay, now. I will not differentiate first. I will put like that first, correct? So that my life is easier than that. Yeah? So it's cube. It's not three yet. Oh, it's a cube root. Ah, sorry. I'll write wrongly, is it? Okay, if it's a cube root, then this one becomes one third, right? Alright, my mistake. Okay, I'll copy the question wrong. Okay, so after this, I can do already, right? I will look up. The one now is the one. Uh, that's why I say you don't follow the textbook, very confusing. They don't use la, 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 this kind of thing. Huh? Okay, I use the same rule again. Okay. Onka, go to the textbook. I bring one third down. Then I have r cubed plus one, plus one third minus one. Negative one. Plus one third minus one, you don't know, you go back to primary school. Negative one, two over three, very good. Then don't forget, I must differentiate inside. Inside is what? 3 R square right? Everybody okay? Can? Alright, now then I simplify. One third times 3, of course, is 1 up. So I'll get an R square, R cubed plus 1, negative 2 over 3, right? If I want to write it nicely, it will be R square over R cubed plus 1, 2 third. That will be fine. Everybody okay? Can or cannot? Cannot. So it goes out and then in. Understand? You, you use the same rule first after you differentiate the inside. Everybody clear? But it comes from here. Do you realize it comes from here? Now we treat it like fraction, but is it fraction? It is not a fraction. Understand? But it looks, the behavior looks like fraction. Okay, because in the first place, you can never find it by yourself. Okay. 
chain rule. Do one by one in the chain. Everybody clear? But you must know which chain to start first. Start from where? Alright? So that is your example seven. Okay? And that is the end of chain rule that I'm telling you. So I'm going to give you homework and you're going to do it together. Because you've got to master this. Understand? Because if you don't master this, later on I'm going to go that rule and quotient rule. That means uh, you will have to differentiate. Uh, the next two parts, I just need to uh, have to differentiate like something times something. Then how to differentiate. And then you have something like something over something. Then how to differentiate. Okay? Don't say, oh, I want to put in this one. Oh, cannot, cannot want. You must do the product and quotient rule. Understand? Okay, so let's take out your Amex content page. Is it number three now? Is it number three? Yes, good. Now, yesterday, uh, I feel like I forgot whether I put 12.1 or not. I put 12.1. Exercise 12.1. Yes, uh, I did not. Uh, because I forgot everything. Oh, okay. Number three, today is the 22nd. So, exercise 12.2. You don't know, have chain rule. Okay. I will do everything together with you. Okay. If I can finish it right, you just call it to a You understand what I'm talking about? Then if I cannot, then we'll get it. So we go home and stop and start. Everybody, okay? So we pray that we can start. Huh? Okay. So start on two guess. I will do the first question together with you. I'll give you some time first. Let's look at one thing. Different, use the chain rule to differentiate each function with respect to Now, in exam, you are not so kind. Huh? Ask how you use chain rule, use what rule, you just say differentiate, that's it. Okay? Now. Okay, I give you one minute to do this. Let's ask something. Don't look at me, my generous. Please do your work. Negative 2 
plus 2x minus 2x plus x squared power 2. Now, I want to tell you about this one, I can further simplify. I can then take out a common factor of 2, can you see? Can you see or not? If I take out a common factor of 2, what do I have? 6, right? Then I will have uh, x minus 1, correct? I, I flip this so that it's nicer. 2x put inside, this one put here. Is that okay? Is that okay? Then I will have a negative 2x plus x squared squared. This will be...
last one. Last one. Okay, minus two right. Alright, now of course you don't write that. It's five.
ask you to do something like that.
When y is 1, x is also equals to 1. Why? Do you agree now? So, what's the gradient? dy, dx will be negative 3 over, uh, 3 times 1 is still 3, yeah? minus 2 power 2, so it's negative 3 over 1. Here. Is that clear to everyone here? Now, the rest are going to copy. We will do it at home. I will give you the hints to all the questions. Will that be okay? I find that you are okay with it. Because once I do until here, you know I'm okay about it. So you can do the rest of that. But four first. I'm going to give you the rest now. Okay. Now, can everybody look at question six? Do you agree that this one is still 
the equivalent to this one. Because I find it quite useful as students are, uh, they are very stuck to one major, so they always go to one major. But not everything can do this. Uh. I'm just giving you a hint. Okay. Now, if this is the same, can you see that I can write like that? Correct. That means I can write like that, right? Right, I can put this and then this one at the same denominator. So what is x plus 1 over x plus 1? 1 no? Yeah, I need to separate like that. Remember when I say a plus b over x is the same as a over x plus b over x. Remember? So if I write like that, can you see that I can group this one, this is a 1, then after that I group this one, it comes like that. You see, it's a faster way of moving. But you cannot say straight away like that. Now you must show me like this first. Uh. Then like that. You get what I'm talking about here. But for part question 8, there's no way you've got to do the partial questions. Everybody clear? Okay, so what is the homework for today? At least I cannot finish that. Alright, I will write on the board. Don't be selfie, you can't do my name. And I did half of it for you. Okay, finish all this on the full sketch paper. Never can stop the video.